your next comedian coming to the stage. It's a good friend of mine. We've had the opportunity to perform at many venues. Put your hands together for Ariel Schlizzer. Thanks for coming out tonight. So I was people watching in Neiman Marcus. Let me tell you, just as many freaks at Neiman's as there are at Walmart. It's just they're better dressed and drive fancier cars. So I was appalled by all the bad plastic surgery I saw there. The worst was a 70 year old woman with porn star boobs. Get that image in your head. And I'm not saying a lift from here to here, because we're all gonna need that. Even some men in the audience. I am talking about boobs so large, she had problems seeing over them as she was signing her credit card receipt at the Chanel counter. No one needs porn star boobs, not even porn stars. But especially not a 70 year old woman. I became obsessed with the question, what does she do with them? <laughs> does she go back to her cushy assisted living facility in Highland Park somewhere and dance up and down the hallways going, my milkshake brings the boys to the yard. Better than yours. And you know, you know that her family refers to her as grandma with the porn star boobs. You know the last holiday dinner when something like, Bobby Joe, who brought the pecan pie? Was it Gigi or Meemaw with the porn star boobs? It was Meemaw with the porn star boobs. Pie's delicious and Grammy's just as perky as ever. So getting ready for Christmas, and I gotta admit as a Jew, I don't understand how Christmas is supposed to work in Texas. Because if a tiny reindeer landed on my neighbor Travis's roof, he'd yell, Justin, get the shotgun. Because hunting seasons come early and venison's good eating. Let's say Santa does make it in the house. He's not going to be greeted by a plate of milk and cookies or the Texas version, which is a bottle of Shiner and a can of Copenhagen, but by Travis, who has double backed into his own house and is now pointing the 12 gauge shotgun at Santa. And this is what it sounds like. Yo, big guy, we don't take kindly to home invaders here in Texas. So I'm gonna give you exactly five seconds to get your fat ass back up the chimney. One, two, three. Booyah didn't move fast enough. Can you imagine that 911 call? Yeah, I want to report a home invasion. No, no need to roll up popo. Just send over an ambulance to haul away his big red carcass. Bobby Joe and I got relatives coming over for Christmas, and we don't have people thinking she's a bad housekeeper. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Thanks to Bush and everybody.